What's good everybody? Welcome back to Cadillac Cartoons and today I'm going to show you guys how to take a shape and repeat it in a circle in Adobe Illustrator. So as you can see on my screen I have Illustrator up and running and if you haven't caught it already I'm going to be creating the Walmart logo in today's video. Because if you take a look at the Walmart logo you can see that it's pretty much a repetition of just this one shape here. And I feel that the Walmart logo is a perfect example of what I'll be showing you guys how to do in Illustrator today. So let's get started. So as you can see on my screen I have just this one shape shape here and I also have a blue background that's on its own layer and it's locked because we won't be messing with the background at all today but clicking on our shape I'm gonna refer to that as a flower petal because it looks a lot like a flower petal right but in the Walmart logo it's supposed to be a spark so just a little heads up but clicking on that shape here I'm gonna go to objects and then I'm gonna go all the way down to where it says repeat and then we have options for radial repeat grid repeat and mirror repeat. So since we want this shape to be repeated in a circle, I'm gonna click on radial repeat. So I'm gonna click on that. And you can now see that Illustrator took our initial shape and made a circle out of it, right? It made a perfect circle out of it too. And speaking of circle, Illustrator also gave us like a little circle guide inside of this little group of shapes here, right? So I can take this little slider on our circle here and I can kind of expand the spacing of each of our shapes here like this right but if you take a look back at the Walmart logo you can see that it's just a repetition of six of these shapes right but in my document I have a repetition of eight of those shapes so I just want to get rid of two of them right so clicking on that group of shapes that Illustrator generated for us there's an option in my workspace that says number of instances that's Illustrator telling us how many shapes do we want repeated in a circle, right? So right now it's set to eight. I can tell you that without counting because number eight is right there. So I'm gonna change that number eight to the number six. So put in the number six. And now you can see that we have a very similar looking Walmart logo. But let's say we also wanna take these shapes and move them closer together, right? So what I can do is take this little slider on our circle here and just simply move those in closer like so. But what if I also want some of these shapes to be cut off from our circle, right? So there's actually another slider on here that looks like it's been broken in half, see? So I'm gonna take this one slider right here and I'm gonna move that along our circle. And if I zoom in here, you can see that it created a dotted path for us. And that's gonna tell Illustrator that we want this region of our circle to not have repeated shapes on it. So I'm gonna move this over here to where our one shape is. And as you can see, Illustrator cut that off. But typically when you're using the radio repeat tool in Illustrator, you probably won't want to do that. I mean, but that's up to you. That's how you do that. But I'm gonna move that slider back to where it was because I want all those flower petals there because that's what the Walmart logo looks like. But if all of a sudden you wanna undo the radio repeat, like you don't want all these shapes repeated in a circle anymore, you can go back up here to object go back to repeat and click on release and now we're left with our one initial shape like we started off with from the beginning but I'm gonna undo that because I want to create the Walmart logo somewhat like this but now after using the radio repeat tool in Illustrator you all of a sudden want to turn all these shapes into its own vector image or vector image group right so clicking on this group here I'm gonna go back to object one more time and click on expand these settings are good, so I'm gonna hit OK. And now you can see that Illustrator created a group out of all these repeated shapes here, and they're still in a circle. But if I double click anywhere inside of this group, I can now take one of these shapes and move them however I want. So each of these shapes are now on its own, but it's still within the group here. So to ungroup it, I'm gonna go back to the main screen real quick. To ungroup it, we're gonna click on the group, and then we're gonna go back to object again, and go to ungroup, and then all of these shapes are now on its own. But yeah, that is how you do it. That is how you create the Walmart logo, and that's how you repeat shapes in Adobe Illustrator. So if you liked the video, or if you found it useful, give it a like and a comment, subscribe if you haven't, and tap the notification bell so you never miss an upload, and I'll see you in my next video.